using google ads in there so now let's we open the google chrome and here we add the google earth engine code editor now first we add the geometry so here i search an area so now here i create any geometry So I have created a polygon variable name into KOI. So now we import the Landsat image. So now select this one. Now we copy that snippet. Now here we paste and create a variable. Now we apply a filter on that image. So first we apply the filter filter bounds. Here we enter the geometry variable. Now we apply a filter. Now we apply a filter metadata for cloud cover. So now here we add one so it will create the so here it will provide us images with less than one cloud cover so now we add the main image now we clip the ai dot clip ai So now we create a variable with the name NIR. So here we add the variable of L8 which we have declared on line number 1. So dot select. As we know the band 5 is NIR band in land set 8 so here we write band 5 now we declare a variable drag so it's band 4 So now here we write down the formula of NDVI. So we have declared variable NDVI. And I dot 
kita drag Now here we dot now here we write dot add rename into NDVI NDVI semicolon so now here we add another variable for NDVI parameters So here we write down the minimum and maximum values. As we know the NDVI values ranges between minus 1 to 1. So now we write down the maximum value which is 1. Give the palette color combination for our NDVI. So now we display our NDVI on the map. So here we write map dot add layer. Now write down the parameters which we have declared variables NDVI. NDVI dot So um, now we run our program. So now we zoom out over. Now we zoom in over area of interest, area of the geometry. So this is our NDVI with that color combination. So we can change the color combination. Now run the program. So here we zoom into an area. Here red color shows the vegetation. So now we export this NDVI image into our drive folder. So here we write the export dot image dot to drive. So here we add the image NDVI then comma and then description NDVI then comma 
then here we set the scale which is 30 now we close the brackets and run the program so now shift to the taskbar here we can run the so it will ask some uh, write down the task name ndvi and select any folder file file format will be geotiff so click on run so it will take some time so it will take some time and it will be downloaded into your drive